Defense brings us to the banks of the Ohio River and Paycor Stadium in Cincinnati. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one between the Minnesota Vikings and the Cincinnati Bengals. man Greg Joseph ready to get this one started and we are underway from Cincinnati and this will go as a touchback and they will begin things at the 25 right there played the ball never lost sight of where it was headed and stayed in perfect position to make a play on it able to keep the receiver and the quarterback in his sight lines a first carry here for Joe Mixon and he gets this one just shy of the 40 to mark him down at the 39 and I'll get 14 on that one good for a bangle first down Now Burrow. And all the way in for a Cincinnati score. Joe Burrow able to show off the legs and do it himself. And the Bengals march right down the field in three plays to claim the early advantage. Well, you want to talk about making something out of nothing. Boy, he did that right there. What an incredible run. Obviously, a pass play, and he couldn't find anyone open downfield. But sometimes the receivers just run those defenders off, and it creates a wide open space. Extra point by McPherson. Good game. Touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. <laughs> Cousins and the Vikings with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. And that's complete to KJ Osborne. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. Now the first carry for Dalvin Cook. And this will be a Vikings first down as he's able to get this out past the 40. Play action now. Cousins. Open man is Osborne. He's got him. And he'll be brought down on the other side of midfield at the 43. So they'll come up in Bengals territory now with a first and 10 at the 43. Oh, going for Jefferson downfield. And it's intercepted at the goal line. And the Bengals are going to have it here at their own nine-yard line. Well, these defensive coaches, they sure like what they got in this rookie corner. And with good reason, as you saw there. He only cost him a day two pick, and a lot of people thought he had first-round ability. But when he was available on draft night, that was one where you didn't need the full time to make the selection. You call that pick in early, and it shows why he was so coveted with that interception there. The Bengals drive about to get going. 
They got the ball now following a big play, keeping the other guys out of the end zone. Now they'll start deep in their own territory, first and ten. Boy, the run on first down, a disaster as he's tackled well behind the line of scrimmage. I know that speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. On second and 15 now, Burrow. And the catch made, it's Tyler Boyd. And he's brought down, but not before they get it across the 20-yard line. Give him 17 in a Cincinnati first down. Well, as a coach, you absolutely love seeing your offense find their rhythm early, and that's exactly what we've seen so far. Here we go. They had a touchdown on their opening drive, and now they connect here for another nice gain for a first down. This offense is moving the ball well, exactly as he drew it up in practice. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. And the Vikings are going to take possession of the football. So consecutive interceptions here early on in this one, and maybe setting the tone, Charles, for a game where the defense really takes center stage. And don't you think that both offenses are really catching the bit from their coaching staff about avoiding these turnovers that we've seen early? Looking for Thielen, but it's intercepted. Picked up by Jesse Bates. And the Bengals are going to take possession here at their own six-yard line. And as we've seen, points have been precious so far, and they just threw something away on that snap. And look, let's face it, as we advance further into this game, that play will be on the minds of everyone who's watching it. They wonder if this is the turning point. Is this the spot where those points were given away and could cost them a ball game? Now a throw downfield is taken in by his running back. And he's brought down, but not before they get it across the 20-yard line. Successful start to the drive, 17 yards, and moves the sticks. And they were backed up to start the drive, but not anymore. But that's the play call that the offensive coordinator had in his head. You saw the end result. He wanted to go ahead and push the ball downfield, and that's what they did. And they wound up with good yardage there to get things rolling. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield, incomplete. And that's a nice job there because you've got to play the ball, not the man winning coverage. That'll keep you away from a lot of needless penalties. And he's able to knock go, that one go. away. Once again, they'll go from the 23-yard line on second and 10. From the shotgun, Joe Burrow. This is caught. It's Boyd. And they work this well upfield across the 45. 23 yards to pick up there. With that impact, I fully expected the ball to pop free. I still remember an old defensive back friend of mine used to say, guess what? Even if they catch the ball, make sure they have a memento to take back to the sideline. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. They had their backs up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Throwing again, it's Burrow. Trying to get it to Chase, but it's intercepted. It's Cameron Dantzler who picks it. And now off to the races, down the right side. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Well, it turns out it's not their offense who gets them on the board first, CD. It's the defense coming through right there with a pick six. And I know from experience throughout the week, when you go against the offense, you're challenging them all the time. You're letting them know, hey, don't worry about scoring this week. We'll take care of it. We'll get a few pick sixes and score ourselves. You're just kidding, but how about what he just did right there? Laid it out for the rest of the game. We score. Hey, offense, can you keep up with us? Joseph connects on the extra point, and we are tied at seven. So all even at seven now as they kick it away. Well, he thought about coming out, but instead he does go down to a knee, and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. Here's Joe Mixon as they start on the ground. And some room to maneuver. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. 
It's a Bengal first down, a pickup of 11. Exactly what they needed right there, because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off, because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit. Burrow will throw. Going up top. And that is intercepted on the sideline. Wait, no. They'll say no. It was caught out of bounds. So this is just an incompletion here. Ready for the second quarter from Cincinnati. It's the Bengals with the football here as they've got it with a second and ten. Here we go. Looking to pass. And for the third time here in this half, it's intercepted. Picked by Cameron Bynum. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Those free safeties, they get to sit back there if they've got good pass rushers like this team does. Read like a book. He read it like a book and took it in for six. And if they use their eyes well and their anticipation skills, they can make big plays just as what we saw. A free safety's dream. Follow the football, go to it, and take it the other way. Joseph connects on the extra point, and that makes the score 14-7. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Here we go. The Bengals drive about to get going. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily that you look at your plays, oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. Here we go, here we go. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. From the 40 now on second down, Burrow. And he'll spot Higgins open left side. So back-to-back -back plays, each get nothing. And third and eight now. Pass complete. But no game. No yards. Yeah. So you file that as unsuccessful. Yeah, you do, don't you? Except on the stats, throwing the ball. You get a completion. You get a catch. Yeah. But still, no, no yardage. Okay. <laughs> on third down, Burrow. Got a man. It's Chase. He completes it. And he is going to have a Bengals first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I don't care how many times we see it. I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass trait in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. Mixon with a first down carry. And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. From the shotgun, it's Burrow. Throw left side complete. That's Boyd. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings 37. Now it's Burrow. His throw incomplete. 
Nice progress down the field, was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again, or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. Line of scrimmage, again the 37 as they line up second and 10. Out of the gun, it's Burrow. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. And now look at this, big game, but a fumble. And the Bengals are going to take possession of the football. Well, do you want to unpack that one, or do you want me to? You're the boss. We get the interception, then really, he's just too loose with the football on the return, and he costs it right back up the other way. I've seen this happen in an NFL game, and boy, did it cost someone. San Francisco at Atlanta a few seasons ago. Atlanta throws the interception. San Francisco runs it back. Game is all to the way. Fumbles on the return. Atlanta gets it back, drives down, kicks the game-winning field goal. <laughs> How about that? And a crazy situation we just saw there. Here we go. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. Here's Burrow. And he will take it on in for a Bengals touchdown. Joe Burrow with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Bengals are an extra point away now from tying this ball game. Here we go. Zach Taylor's made the decision. They'll go for two here. The Vikings going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Go, so now the Bengals' offense will stay out there as they'll decide to go for two. And Burrow's going to look to throw for it. And he's going to be taken down. It's a sack and a big sack at that. This remains a one-point game. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. Kenny Dewagu now out of his end zone. And beyond the 20, but not by much. In fact, just a yard pass there to the 21. Vikings now to start their next drive. And it's been a miserable start for them offensively, obviously. Two drives, two interceptions. And this is where you have to know your quarterback and know how you actually have to reach him. Do you do it with a little bit of humor? Maybe you break the ice a little bit like, hey, didn't we practice in that color jersey all week? Not the one that you're throwing it to? Or maybe you have to be stern with him. But whatever it's going to take to get the message, it has to be done. He's putting the game in jeopardy. And he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. On the jet sweep, here comes Jefferson. And he is going to lose yardage here. Just a loss of a yard there, but it's not going to help. Now they face a third and 14. Well, as a wide out, when you take that handoff and you're coming around the edge, you're expecting to see nothing but empty space in front of you. But if not, well, things can go south in a hurry. And that's exactly what we saw on that play with a loss. And a third interception thrown by Cousins. Picked up by Jesse Bates. And the Bengals are going to get the football here as he gets this up to the 38-yard line. Well, I'm not sure that the wheels, Charles, are coming completely off, but they're shaking a little bit. That's three interceptions, and now interceptions here on back-to-back -back drives. And I think about what a Hall of Fame coach told me that he always told his teams, when a mistake happens, just move on to the next play. Let it go. Hard to do when you throw this many interceptions. That's exactly the attitude that has to be adopted. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports.
Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. The Vikings have to like their position. They've got the lead. They get this football as well as we are back and underway for the second half. Taken from about the 12. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. And Charles, they got the lead. Uh, I would imagine the overall halftime tone was a positive one, but what do you think the talking points were in the locker room? Well, there were three talking points at the half, partner. All of them were about turnovers because they were pretty loose with the ball. Otherwise, this lead could be even bigger. Now, I don't think that they overly harped on it, but I think they told them, guys, if you want to keep calling those plays that are exciting, you've got to take care of the ball. Otherwise, we may have to dial things back a little bit. Following the good run by Cook, here's another first and ten. A handoff as they run the counter play. Well, they nearly sprung him that time as he takes this all the way down to the 37. So they'll come up in Bengals territory now with a first and ten at the 37-yard line. A good gain of nine before he's brought down at the 28. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. They run the counter with Cook. And a hard working run here as he's got it inside the 20, down to the 17. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and 10. Here's Cook again. And he'll be stopped after a gain of only a couple down to the 15-yard line. They'll try the middle with Cook. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. They'll run with Cook. And he'll get this one back to the five-yard line, but no further than that. They've been in the red zone three times in this game and have not scored a single point. Can they break through here on second and goal? They will take this one into the end zone for a Viking touchdown. Dalvin Cook, a five-yard touchdown run. And the Vikings take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. Kevin O'Connell choosing to lead his guys out there. And they'll go for two. Cousins will try and throw. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked up by Jesse Bates. He's at the 50, the 40. Well, there's some excitement, right? Go for two. And instead, it gets picked off. And how about the return? Give him a lot of credit, though, for not giving up after the play. Yeah, the troops rally. Exactly. And getting back there and making the tackle and not giving up two points themselves. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. Burrow going to fake to mix it and now look to throw. And he wisely will throw that one away. The goal is certainly to try and make a big play happen and climb back into this game, but you have to be careful. If you overdo it, you could turn it over and hurt your team. tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. They're passing here. Joe Burrow. Quick slant caught by Chase. 
And they're able to get this one across the 35. Burrow to his old LSU teammate Chase for a Bengal first. This has to go down as one of the simpler routes in the playbook, but oh so effective. Nice completion there. Keeps the sticks moving. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. And that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. Another attempt, another incompletion. And when I look at the scoreboard and where we are in this game, it comes to mind that they have to start getting the ball in the hands of their playmakers. Throw it to the guys that maybe can take a go. short pass and turn it into a long game or make people miss downfield. They've got to have points. And the guys who can put the ball in the end zone, they're the ones that need to touch the ball. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Boyd. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings' 44-yard line. The Bengals' passing game finding a rhythm. They've got another first. I think it all came together there. In-breaking route. Drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. From Viking territory now, they'll come up first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Again, it's Burrow. And now here is another interception. Picked off by Harrison Smith. And the Vikings are going to get the football here as he gets this up to the 38-yard line. I think you and I were a little surprised back earlier in the game when he threw his second interception. I mean, who would have thought a quarterback of his caliber picked now five times? It's beyond stunning to me because we're used to that with maybe a quarterback with less experience or less talent. But a quarterback of his caliber? I can't believe what we've just seen. Absolutely. If you would have told me this coming into the ball game, I would have said never, not in a million years. But here we go. And some room to run now. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. That's a good way to start the drive. 17 yards and a first down. Jet sweep. Here comes Jefferson. Trey Hendrickson, the one who gets him on the ground. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. second and five and off comes to cook and this one goes nowhere losing yardage on the play back at the 46 they call that a loss of six yards and it's third down now that was well played there defensively two tight ends in the formation which essentially gave them seven blockers up front hard to imagine with all that size and beef that they could let a tackler through. But that's exactly what happened. A loss resulted. Setting up the screen for Cook. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. They get 14 there. First down, Vikings. Well, I see a defensive coordinator get upset and throw his headset. This is the kind of play that'll do it. You force third and long. This is almost sort of a give up play. You're just hoping to get something positive, and it winds up breaking big, and they convert on third down. First down, here's the run with Cook. That's some strong running there as he's down just shy of the 20 on the edge of the red zone. They run again on first down, Cook. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. An ideal spot here to get a first down and try to run some more clock. And this is second and less than a yard. Again, it's Cook. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. 
Now Cook running right. And a short pick up there down to about the nine. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. They go play action. Cousins. And Cook has it left side. And here he'll get it down to the seven. A lot of tired bodies on that field. But this is a big play. Third and goal. Another tote for the workhorse this afternoon. It's Cook. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. We've now seen three consecutive one-yard gains, and it brings up fourth down. Such a long drive here. Three points. That would be a disappointment, but I don't know if you can go for it here, can you? Well, you know, the defense was really giving them a lot all the way downfield, and now they've stiffened. Forget that bend, don't break. Now they don't even want to let them get a yard, do they? So in this spot, you remember what the coaches told us before the ball game? Any drive that ends with a kick is going to be okay with us, whether it's a punt, a field goal, or an extra point. Take the field goal right here. Joseph now to kick this one away. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. I'm on, Rick. The Bengals drive about to get going. As this offense takes the field again, CD, remember last drive, they were moving the football, but then they threw that costly in. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by Lewis Seen. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Well, this defense just continuing to do their thing, and now they add on to that lead with another pick six. And how about the way they've played this entire game? Not only have they put their stamp on it, but every time they try and mount an offensive challenge, they find a way to thwart it. And multiple pick sixes? Oh, yeah, they'll enjoy watching this tape after the game. Joseph on for the extra point. And that'll make this a three-score game as the lead moves to 17. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Well, from deep in the end zone, he's going to bring this out. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. I'm one, ready? The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error go. that they made and figure out how to not do it in the Here future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? He's got a man complete. 20, 10, 5, and he lost the football. And the Vikings pick up the football. And he'll bring this all the way up to the 45-yard line. And with that kind of a deficit, you can't afford to make any kind of mistakes. But it's been pretty symptomatic of what we've seen all game with them, isn't it? Down, down this big in the fourth quarter. Yeah, you'd quarter. say an afternoon to forget, absolutely. Vikings now to start their next drive. Now they are really in the driver's seat here, enjoying this lead late in the fourth quarter. The defense does have all three timeouts, but at this point, doesn't look like it's going to matter much. And they'll get this just to the 47. One-yard gain. Cousins here to throw. 
That's complete to Justin Jefferson. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. On play action, Cousins. And this one right back into the hands of Jefferson. Touchdown, Vikings! Justin Jefferson, 31 yards. And the Vikings take the force.